good morning welcome to the vlog how y'all doing i don't know what she's doing it's a day in our life Yay. it's also a monday so i'm wearing this outfit again that i wore last week it's fine there's a lot that goes into not really a lot there's a lot of steps in the morning yes you missed some of them but i'm going to show you guys like some things that we do to make it easier um because we've got it pretty much down now that we've been in school for a month ella also takes a water bottle every day and i always put a little pizzazz in it so she'll actually drink it but now is grind time so this is it all right, Elle, let's put our shoes on. And then we always get a bit of a no every morning. But we get it done. This is something we do to make our mornings easier. I have a morning basket. It's also our evening basket after bath. But all of our products, all of our products are in here. So this is her nighttime deodorant I use to prevent smelling because she is a kid and as they get older, they smell. <laughs> This stuff we love for after her shower for her hair. This is Hydrate Repair, Leave-In, Mafura and Babab Oil, oh, yeah. Manuka Honey and Yogurt. It smells delicious, it's affordable, it works really great. And um, this paired with the wet brush is awesome. And then she's starting to get a little acne on her forehead so I do a little of this. This is the toothpaste we use. This is her hairspray, and there's the girl. Come here. Say, we're going to have a great Monday. We're gonna have a good Monday. Nope. We're gonna have a good Monday. Nope. We're gonna have a good day. That is so. We're gonna have a great day. Positive attitude. High five. Why don't you match it all the way down to your side? Did you hear that voice? Did you hear that voice? I Give him a spin. Noise. What so did the noise I hear? All right, Elle, you ready? Here. You ready? Go get your backpack. It's your new mask. You don't have to wear it out of the you house. You don't have to wear it out of the house. Just hold on to it for us. The sweet girls from Texas got her a Bucky's mask. You want to put it on? <laughs> <laughs> no. You're looking fabulous, Elle. Yeah, you're going into upward trend. Come on. It's wet. You're fine. Come on. Ah, you're good. It's still wet. It's not wet. You're good. Oh, no. Monday. Come on. What is that thing? Come on. It's a truck. She had a rough night. Aww. Just giving you guys a little heads up. Her teachers are so amazing. They are. I could cry. They're so good. I'm like, she had a rough night because she did not sleep great. They're like, we're love on her. You know, extra. It's Monday. We get it. So she busted right up in there oh yeah she does once you get her out of the car she does not hesitate she's like yep i know the drill uh this is not typical we're usually not together um for drop-offs or pickups once a week maybe yeah usually one of us yeah but we have to go pick up a walmart order today and oh wow Jeez. Phew. you know you're in the south when you get a yeah. back window full of that yeah, we don't want to show you guys that. No, that's dark, mm -hmm. man. Okay. Um, we just, this is not, no day is typical, typically, because John has his work that he does. No day is typical, typically. Well, what do I say? It's just, it's not a typical day. We it's have not. errands to run. We do. Well, we have an errand to run. But conveniently, it's by Starbucks. And you had a rough night, so I figured. I had a really rough night, so you driving me is very welcomed. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Next time, I want to show for that. A chauffeur tie? I can arrange that. It's kind of kinky. I like oh, it. Oh, God. <laughs> I look rough. So I am looking rough. I know you guys hate when I say that, so I'm not going to even address it, but I think I, I feel like I have to sometimes. We've done a lot since last time we chatted. We went grocery shopping. I've got all the groceries put away. I feel pretty good about that because it's like a Monday thing for us. Um... This is the status of our fridge. It's like the fullest it's ever been. These are some staples we always buy. John really likes these protein shakes from Walmart. They're a dupe for the Premier. I always have Fresca. 
I got some of these. Um, they're actually, a lot of you let me know that they're really good for breastfeeding, which is good to know. Um, but they help me with nausea sometimes. So, yeah. That's that's the status of the fridge. Fruit, Lunchables, some Go-Gurt. I got the organic kind because I'm a healthy queen. And John and I, mostly John, <laughs> went through the top of Ella's closet. It's actually, this is the very last of uh, my Graham's stuff that's in this house and it's photo album so they're heavy aren't they yes ma'am we if you don't follow me on instagram which i always encourage people to follow me follow me on instagram we are seriously decluttering this whole entire house because this house is so small we it's comfortable and we love it and we're gonna live here probably for a good long while but we're adding another human which means we're adding more stuff and if you don't utilize the space in a house this small it can quickly close in on you and that's kind of what happened so we're trying to make use of every single space in the house we're getting there actually which is nice <laughs> so i did the laundry room yesterday i'm very proud we're trying to just do a load a day and stay on top of it we try to keep it as organized as we can and like our laundry baskets this is our whites and our darks and this is just such a small space and it was overran with things in it so if there's still more in here than i'd like but we use it all so it's like gotta go somewhere and if you haven't seen my closet we've maintained this pretty well as this hangs out but this is our linen closet and it's 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 doing good i want to encourage you guys to take control of your space. It makes you feel really good once a project is done, so. But I'm so tired today, like I can't even. I was talking to a girlfriend of mine who's also knocked up, and we were had to talk, cause like I feel not out of control, but like just so like overwhelmingly anxious to do all these projects. Stop shaking your head, you're, you're being a good sport. And if they're getting done, so I mean, yeah. <laughs> there's worse things. But the overwhelming feeling to nest is unreal and we've never lived in filth but we do have like a lot of things like ella has an abundance of toys in like yes. every nook and cranny in this house so obviously we're not going to get rid of her treasures she loves them but we are that like we're getting rid of a lot of stuff so that feels so freaking good i feel like if i can encourage anybody to do anything is declutter yeah a lot of you guys want to see the kitchen remodel once all of this is done which it's almost done then we're gonna hit the kitchen and paint the nursery and hopefully paint this hallway too. Yeah, we just wanna get everything organized first. And keep um, like a routine. Yeah, we wanna keep order before we go painting and get everything out of order because then you gotta clean up the painting mess and everything it else It just too. causes more chaos. But I think we're really, what? the dog, the what? pup. Did dad want me? Did you want me? Say that after school face. Hey, does your ear hurt? I need some eardrops. You need some eardrops? Which ear? She said her eardrops are from Matthew. <laughs> Which ear hurts? You need my own. Her left ear. We're doing oh. eardrops. Um, we were in the pool yesterday. Yeah. Saturday. Saturday. That's what it is. Yeah. Which we do have swimmers ear stuff if we need I it. Didn't, I didn't even think to do it because it's been a while yeah. since we were in the pool. Come here. Point to the ear that hurts. This one? That's the opposite of the one she was saying this Which morning. one hurts? This, this one? That's... Um, the uh, no, drops. that's the right one. Yeah. Okay. We're going to put them in your ear to make it feel better. You got to tilt your head, remember? You remember the drill? Ah. Well, we got to get them in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tickles. Wiggle, wiggle. Good job. Nice. So we have antibiotic eardrops left over from when she took them for a week with swimmer's ear last time. And what? What's smoking? Smoking. Smells like smoking. Now for the daily folder check. And apparently she did not like the sandwich I packed her. That's what Amy said. We check, we do a lunch check. So I see what I can should pack. Yeah, she didn't touch it. So. And then we do a folder check because she knows she has to have a good week. She had a good day today. Not a great, but a good. Which is good because of the night we had, so. 
they do this, which I think is awesome, especially for kiddos who aren't really great at vocalizing what they do in school every day. Her handwriting is getting so much better. Look at that. Oh, what an improvement. Oh my gosh. So they're really working on handwriting and fine motor skills, um, as well as like math, language arts. She made this today, <laughs> art. <laughs> This is a book they made called We Can Be Kind. And then they mark on here like how it was completed if they did it themselves with a one-to-one -one support in a group or as a class. And this is one she did as a class and I have to show you guys. I've never seen her draw before. But this morning, John and I were going through her paperwork from Friday, was this Friday's? And she drew her family and it is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Look, can you even? Mommy. Mommy? Daddy, mommy, baby Everett, and Ella. I can't. I can't. Ella, where is where's baby Everett? It was for ba it was, a bow is for baby Everett. Yeah, it is. Hey, where is baby Everett? Right hey, where's, where's baby Everett? Where is he? He's happy. Is he in mommy's tummy? She said, let's rub. I just got a call. Oh, did I scare you? I just got a call from my OB's office because I had blood work done before my last appointment and they didn't get all the things back. Like we got my TSH levels, which is your, um, I think your thyroid. And that was perfect, but I got all my blood work back and your girl has thunder, jeez. Um, I have stellar blood work. My blood work came back perfect, which is such a relief. I was so freaked out. Naturally, um, when you are obese or overweight having a baby, you have to get like a little more blood work done just to make sure that everything is running smoothly. And it was like for me being obese and pregnant, they did the blood work and it came back perfectly, which always is a relief. I'm just so relieved. Have I mentioned that? I'm also exhausted because I've been up for hours, but I'm just so relieved. So my blood work is perfect. Everything is doing doing well so far. Like my glucose is good. Everything is really good. So fingers crossed I can take the blood glu glucose test at like a normal time. And if not have to do it early, but if I have to do it early, so what? I mean, whatever. I'm just really happy and relieved that my hard work as far as like not eating like an asshole <laughs> and just um, moderate exercise and drinking lots of water and all those things. I'm glad it's like paying off and um, that Everett's chilling and doing really good in there. That makes me really, really happy. It just also makes me wanna be better like in the future after he's born. Like I'm super excited to see like what I can do with my body um, after I have him. So just watching John has been such an inspiration. So I am excited to see how I do after pregnancy. little bit of motivation for you I guess but that's my night routine is kind of most nights not all nights because that would be a lie I like to have the kitchen clean and I like to like do a general cleaning of the what do you call this the great room <laughs> the main living space of our house I like to just pleasing to the eye it doesn't have to be real clean but just like tidy but it is, oh, also I will leave the audiobook, audible book I'm listening to down below. I'm currently listening to Atomic Habits and I really, really like it. And I'm trying to create good habits. So it's been 
pretty beneficial I would say and I would highly suggest it's like a game changer book I love those kind and yeah that's that thanks for watching today's vlog I hope you guys enjoyed like a peek inside of our normal boring everyday life let me know what is your night routine and your morning routine look like and if you want a more in-depth morning or night routine be happy to do that for you I hope you guys have a really really good day and we'll see you in the next vlog bye friends